Welcome to the screencast for Splice. Splice is an app for iOS, for your iPad, your iPod Touch, or your iPhone. And this allows you to edit together video. So here's the icon for Splice, already installed on my device. So I'm going to tap on that and go into Splice. I'm going to give you a little run-through for how to build a project and export it and, and basically put together a movie right on your iOS device. So here in Splice, you start a new project by clicking or tapping on the plus up here. So I'm going to tap plus. And you should name your uh, project with your class hour, followed by a space, your last name, followed by a space, and whatever topic your teacher gives you. So I'll type that out. I'll hit done. The next screen gives you your project settings. Please choose for the HD SD choice. Please choose standard definition and you can just do that by tapping on the HD and changing it to SD. Border, there are some borders built in that will show around your movie. If they make sense to your project and relate to your project, go ahead and use those. Otherwise you can choose no border. Orientation should stay as landscape. Crossfade is your default transition. That just means the kind of effect that will take place from one video clip or picture to the next. And you can change that if you'd like. Uh, you can always edit that later in your project. So I'm going to leave that that way and hit done. So here is how I lay out my project. I want to I first have to choose the very first thing that should appear. So logically, I'm going to choose a title and I'm going to tap to enter my text. And so this is going to be called Introduction to Forest Park. And I hit done. You'll notice it says up here you can move and scale this. So by touching on my device, I can move this around or I can do a pinch to zoom motion with my two fingers to stretch that out and make it bigger. Good title should be in the center. Duration, I will, I would suggest a good duration for a title slide is about four to five seconds. So adjust that accordingly. And then you can go up and hit done. So there is my first object in my movie. Now you'll see once you have something here, these little icons appear on both sides of this clip. So the plus means I want to add something after the clip here. If I were to click here, I would add something before the clip. The pencil allows me to edit that item. So I'm going to hit the plus on the bottom right here. And next I'm going to add some videos or photos. So I'm going to tap on that. This will take me to my albums area. And any videos I shot already are in my camera roll area. So I'll go into camera roll and I'll scroll down. And here are some video clips I shot for this project. Now the order you tap on these are the order they'll be put into the project. So I'm going to have the sign be first, followed by walking in the doors, followed by the wall of winners. And I'm going to hit done in the top corner. I get a message that says, do you want those default transitions already inserted between these clips? I'll say yes. So that means a crossfade will automatically appear between those clips. So you'll see this is loading, so just be patient here. This is spinning, showing that something's happening. And what that something is, is these clips are now being laid out in my project. So now if I use my finger and I scroll across here, here's the first clip, here's a transition, here's a second clip. Okay, now when I just tap on one of these objects, I get my choices again. I could add something here if needed, I could add something here if needed, or I could use the pencil to edit. I'm going to go ahead and show you the edit. When you edit a video clip, there are different choices. This is to trim the clip. I can see that this is 22 seconds long, so that's a little too long for an intro clip. I'm going to, I'm going to edit that down here in a second. This is to change the speed of this clip. This is to crop this clip. This is to duplicate this clip. Maybe you need two of them back to back for some reason, and this is to trash this clip. So let's go ahead and tap on the scissors. So here's this clip. What I did was I shot my video of the sign and as I move this little blue dot, this allows me to select whatever's inside this little white box between the blue dots is what I'm going to trim to. So what I did was I shot the sign and I shot uh, the front of the building. So I'm going to scroll through here slowly and that's where I want my clip to start. So I'm going to start on the sign and then I know I move the camera to look at the building. So that's the part I want to keep. I can use this play button to play that clip just to kind of see and make sure that's the way I want it to look. And that looks good, so I'm going to hit done. So now that clip has been trimmed down and you'll see it's about five seconds. And then it'll go to a crossfade. We'll see that in the final version here. So now here's this clip. This one again is, is a little bit of a longer clip. This is a shot of someone walking in the building. So I'm going to edit this and trim this down as well. So I know that I want to start this a little closer just to save time. 
show the hand opening the door and I know there was people talking in the hallway so I'm gonna back this up a little bit and end right about there and again I could play that if I needed to I'm gonna hit done so this is how you lay out your video and so as you do this you can put transitions between these video clips and and lay everything out in order if you need to mess with the audio at all you can go up here and tap on audio we've only been doing video so far when you're in the audio area this this is optional you can adjust you could uh, tap on the sounds up here this is the video clip that's showing and this is the sound for that clip so if I needed to edit some of that and maybe make this quiet because I wanted to put some music in or record myself with a voiceover I could tap that clip and I could adjust this slider to make that go quiet or I could put fade ins or fade outs there's a lot of cool stuff you can do in here but again mostly optional I can use this little slider here to adjust where I want sound effects to occur and if I wanted to add a voiceover that's what this microphone track is for or if I want to add sound effects or music that's what these two tracks are for so again that's optional you can play with that if needed uh, when you're all said and done i will go back to video here you can go up to preview preview puts together the movie and you can watch it before exporting it so I can click play I can watch the video play and I should point out when this clip is exported these ads will not be here so there's my clip playing they notice the crossfade that little blur into the next uh, next clip so I'll go ahead and stop that um, I'm gonna go up to export because I want to send this off so when I go to export I get a choice of low medium or high quality I'm gonna choose the high 640 by 480 quality this video will render meaning that it puts it all together as a finished movie with all the effects and all the changes you made that finished movie will be put in your photos area on the device it'll be in the camera roll so your teacher will give you instructions on how you're to turn that in some teachers will have you email it to them directly some will have you email it to a YouTube account uh, so please check with your teacher for instructions on what to do next and that is splice nice little quick video editing app thanks so much for watching